welcome to our first finance committee meeting of uh, 2024. Um, the committees were announced today. Um, so if you haven't seen that, the uh, I'm still chair of finance, uh, but there are two new members of finance. It's uh, Jose Delgado and Melvin Edwards. And Jose was having heat problems at his house a little while ago, texted me. So I don't know who else we have here. Tracy, um, Chris. All right. So I don't see any of them. All right. Um, well, let's go uh, item number one, November revenue versus expenditure report. Somebody going to, is Pat here or is somebody going to do that? Thank you, Councillor Allen. Uh, tonight I'll be presenting the November revenue versus expenditure report represents the first five months of fiscal year 2024. As you can see, our revenue is at 401.6 million or 44% of budget. Our expenditures are at 435 million or 48% of budget. I also want to mention that the annual education incentive Quinn bill payment for the Springfield Police Department was made the first week in November, and that payment equaled approximately three million one hundred and sixty-nine thousand dollars. Thanks, Pat. Is that more than it? Is that more or less than it normally is? It is sixty-six thousand dollars more than it was last fiscal year. Hmm. And do we expect that? To is that about where it lands or are the issues with the Quinn bill and who pays and all that stuff are those mostly resolved and you know what what causes that payment to go up uh the increase in in the uh hourly wage okay but generally when we hire new police officers are they available for the for the um are they eligible for the Quinn bill or not? Yes, they are. Okay. Um, any questions on Pat's report? I have a question for Pat. Great. Okay. Um, um, how do you think, Ms. Chair, how do you think the um, budget cuts on the state level will impact our budget? Uh, we were just looking at those this afternoon and there were not any cuts to our chapter 70 or our unrestricted government aid, which was our major concern. Um, I didn't see a direct cut to our state aid as part of the nine C cuts. So we're hoping that uh, we'll be spared from that. All right. I'll That's just, other. if I could just add counselor, um, a I was looking in a couple of our grants may be affected but we're gonna have to see how, um, because I did see that they did reduce funding on a couple of the um, grants we get through the state, um, but I don't have the details on that yet. But like Pat said, we're thankful that as of now, chapter 70 and UGA um, haven't been reduced, so. Is there like a large grant that you recognize, Lindsay, that? The one I noticed um, was uh, Council on Aging. So there was a reduction to the Council on Aging funding. I don't know if or how that will affect Springfield, um, but we I'm sure that we'll find out more as time goes on. Do you know the percentage it was cut by? The um, I don't have it up right now. Um, I can't remember okay. off the top of my head. Okay. Can you um email that? Or I can look it up. I can look up the cuts, but if you could email it. so that, I have a link. Um, I can email it. it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I actually have a list of the cuts, so I can send them to you, Counselor. Oh, yeah, that'd be great. Great. Right. That'd be Thank great. You. Thank you. All right. Any other questions for Pat or Lindsay? All right. Seeing none, let's move on to item two, the Shannon Grant 1.247. Million to two hundred forty-seven thousand. Um, is it someone here to speak on this? Anybody from the police or 
Yes, sir. Uh, Lieutenant Matt Benoit. Hi. How are you? I'm good, thanks. So, so you know, just let us know uh, how this how this looks, what your role is with regard to this, and and um, you know how, who's going to be receiving. Have you decided who's going to be receiving this money? Those are the types of things we usually talk about in here. Well, understood. Yeah, I am the police department Channing Grant uh, partner representative. I manage the uh, overtime in the the deployments for the Shannon Grant uh, for the suppression role of the police department. Um, we did have a meeting after the um, the RFPs were submitted and did select the partners, and we were able to add two new partners uh, this year. Great. Um, are you keeping pretty much the partners that you've had all along? Yes, and we were able to maintain the existing partners uh, in addition to adding two new ones. Okay, who are the two new ones? Two new ones are Regreen Springfield and Cogic C O G I C Family Services. Cogic, that might be Church of God. Um, okay, and how could you read off who these you know standard ones are? MLK and those kind of places. Yes, I'll read them all. Uh, Salvation Army. MLK Junior Family Services, uh, Boys and Girls Club Crew Street, YMCA, Kojig Family Services, YWCA, South End Community Center, Boys and Girls Club Family Center, The Mission Inc., Shoot Hoop C3, Greater New Life, New North Citizens Council, and Reed Green Springfield. And is, does, the bear, does the amount vary what they're each getting? Uh, yes. Uh, I believe most partners were level funded from the previous years. Okay. All right. Any questions for anybody on, on the Shannon grant? Yes. Can you send us the list and amounts that each awardee received, Lieutenant Benoit? Yes. Okay, Can thank do. you. Send it to the um, whole council. And how many um, applications came in for Shannon? Um, let's see the existing I, I want to say there was three new applications uh one was not accepted because it didn't fit within the uh the parameters do you have the name of that one um off the top of my head i do not but i can get that for you and send it to you yeah that'd be good if we get the list of who applied and then who was approved and who was denied that would be great yes i'll speak with uh sean fan he he was running it for the city oh. all right thank you well, anybody else on the Shannon Grant. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> Moving to number three, Thomas J. O'Connor donations. Um, Lindsay, is there any detail on that or anything we need to know about that? Yes, um, I don't believe Lori will be here tonight. So if there's no one here, I'll speak to it at the council meeting as well. Um, so it was $27,310 from 48 separate donations over the period from August through November. Um, the, the donors have not requested the funds to be used for any specific purpose. So TJO will use the funding to assist in operational expenses. So what do we do uh, keep, like sometimes we'll see individual donations and we'll acknowledge an individual donation. And it sounds like this time we, we're you know, um, combining all these donations that have been coming in over a period of time. Is That's that correct. True? Yeah, over the last four months, 48 um, total donations, totaling the 27,000. Okay. All right, any questions from anyone? <clears throat> all right, thanks, Lindsay. Sounds good. Um, item four, authorizing execution and delivery of a tax incentive financing agreement for Performance Food Group. All right, we have Matt here in, in the council uh, committee room. Matt from Assessors, are you here for that, Matt, or is that? Yeah. You know, yes, council. Yeah, great. Um, do you want to speak to it? And then we can have people comment on it. I don't know if anyone else is here to speak on that. Is it just you? I think Brian would like to speak on it first. All right, great. Brian, I can't see <clears throat> Brian, Brian Connors? 